Hey y'all! Welcome to Space Chem. Nah, Space Chem. It's a puzzle game that is, I mean, fucking phenomenal. I avoided this game for a long time because of the whole chemistry thing. I'm not good at chemistry. Turns out it has literally nothing to do with chemistry at all. You do not need to be good at science, that you just need to enjoy good puzzle games. Let's jump right in, I'll show you how it works. So, here we are. This is what it looks like. Now, the first, whatever, five minutes of this, I'm going to be telling you how to play this goddamn game, because you need to do it. Oh, by the way, this is just the, uh, the demo. I haven't bought it yet, but I will, I will. When the demo runs out, I will. I'm sold totally. There's something about this game, it, it, it scratches a really deep monkey urge inside me that likes nice things working well. So, the idea is, you have these two Waldos, they're called, but almost treat them like robots. And then you have four zones here. Input A, input B, output, trident, output, Walt Disney. And this here is saying that gold will be coming in here. And platinum will be coming in here, in B. It's also saying, to complete the level, I need to get platinum outputting from Trident and gold outputting from W down here. The way how you do that is you give these Waldos or whatever robots orders. So I could tell them to go up there, then round there, then down there, then there, then up, then left, then up, da da. I could tell them to do that route and if I hit start, you'll watch him and he'll just go along that route. But that's not very helpful. So you've got these sort of five orders here. So this order here says to input on B. So when that Waldo hits this, the input on B will activate, which is that platinum. That platinum there, and also this sort of grid here, this four by four grid, is the same as this four by four here. So that says this platinum will appear here. So I might as well delete all this. <laughs> so when it hits there, the platinum will appear here. Oh, also, I am rubbish at this game. I've seen people playing online, they're incredible. They must have degrees in chemistry and living alone. But I'm, I'm literally terrible, we'll see. So this says, input on B there and then grab, you can say grab or drop or both. This is just says grab or drop, which everyone's gonna do. So it'll come here, it'll pick up the platinum. And then I'm gonna say, the platinum needs to come out over here. So I'm gonna say drop the platinum here. And then just finish this route. And then output. It needs to be output Y, because this is where it's going to be. And when it hits there, so whatever's in Y will be outputted, which is that platinum, hopefully. So it should look something like this. In, pick up. <whistles> Drop. Output. Ba -ding. But we now need to add the red in. We are going to say input A. Pick up gold. The gold will appear here. Come down here, round here, drop it off, come back up, and uh, output W though, obviously, because it's the other one. So, in A, pick it up, drop it down, output W, that gold. Let's have a little looch. Oh, for fuck sake. As I said, <laughs> I'm literally shit this game. Yeah, the atoms can't touch. I'm an idiot. So, we're going to delete this one here. We're going to try something like that. Will that work? Let's see. I think that could work. Oh, they're slowly getting out of time with each other though. So if I speed this up, this might become a problem. It might not. I think we're fine. And as you can see down here, this is how many you need when that gets completely filled up. Assignment complete! Dealing in platinum and gold, motherfucker! Here, you can see on the left here, the... No. You can see on the left here how well I've done in comparison with the rest of the world is not great. Okay, so here we are on this new one. This says it's inputting oxygen over here, and over here... What? 
we need to join those oxygens together twice. You see, there's two little strands between them. That means it needs a double bond, which shouldn't be a problem. So this means we are now going to, we're going to input A, we're going to pick it up here, going to bring it down, we're going to drop it there, and that's this Waldo's job done. He's just going to come around, generate one, pick it up, drop it, rinse and repeat. And then the red guy is going to do something very similar. He, oh god, they're going to collide already, I'm rubbish. So I'll tell you what, he'll stay away from that blue. For a little bit and then he'll come in here he'll he needs to generate it though Ugh. so there he'll generate that a he'll generate that oxygen he'll pick it up he'll bring it along here but he doesn't actually need to drop it he doesn't need to drop it he just needs to bond it so he's gonna keep holding on to it and I'm gonna add a new command here that we've not come across called bond plus which means that when he gets hit there anything that's in these grey zones will get bonded together once now that's a problem that will only do it once hmm I'm gonna put another set of bonding down below and another bond action I'm a freaking genius dude this game is incredible okay so that should work so you should now come along bond it once when he comes and then they'll be attached and he'll come down here and he'll bond it again we'll see we'll see if it works and then he'll come, whatever, drop it off. And then, where the fuck am I telling him to go then? He'll come, he'll drop it off, whatever. Finish his thing. Oh, output. He'll also say, get rid of it. Suck it away with an output. Now, because the red is longer than the blue, there's another command called sync. And I'll put one on each. And what that will say is that they'll wait for each other. So say if the red gets here first, it will wait for the blue to come down and hit his sink before they both go together. It just keeps everything nicely in sync. Hence the name. <laughs> here we go. Let's see if my cunning plan has worked. Already, already fucked up. What can we do about that? We can put the sink here. So the red won't go until the blue's pretty much there and already done his job so they won't collide hopefully yeah let's try it let's see let's see let's see it feels like building a uh, you know the robots that build the cars it feels like uh, building like a what's the word bang bang double bond and then you should drop that off and then he's waiting for his mate that's it done it it feels like when you know you see those production assembly lines with the robots building cars and if I'm honest I think that that would have been a better theme for the game I think that would have been cooler if you're putting wheels on cars and doors rather than it's a bit abstract just make, like attaching two options together speed that up look at that there's a few games out there that, that make you feel proud when you do something you know you've got your minecrafts and things like that and I genuinely feel proud of this here Assignment complete! Do, do, do. So, that was an extremely brief look at the most boring looking, addictive, beautiful, incredible puzzle games I have ever played. Also, how great is the music? Answer, very. Keep creeping, guys.